Hey y'all, my name's Tyler. I'm your captain here at Torwick Scouting Service. Real quick, I wanted to go through a couple baits that I'm going to recommend this winter, especially as the water temps get colder. Right now, uh, you know, I'm filming this just before Christmas, the water temps are still fairly warm, around 64 degrees. But as they start dropping into the low 60s and especially into the high 50s as it gets later in the winter, these are some baits that I'm going to have tied on on my deck at all times. So I'll make this real quick, but these are a couple that I recommend to you. First off is a jerk bait. Jerk baits excel in cold water. You're able to rip them, try to trigger the roots reaction bites, but they just sit there and they suspend. So as you're fishing this bait, play around with the cadence of it. You know, typically it's a one pause, one, two cadence as you twitch that rod tip, but vary how long you let it suspend. You know, at times I may only let it sit there for a second or two. Other times, especially if it's really cold or a uh, high barometric pressure day, kind of like today, uh, I'll let the bait sit there for a long time, you know, five, six seconds before I go and twitch it again. So change up with that. Generally, I'm throwing either the Mega Bass 110 or the 110 Junior, uh, but the plus one that gets down deep, that's a good bait if you're seeing them on your panoptics or something and the fish are down, you know, 12, 15 feet deep. But generally the Junior and just the regular 110 are good. Any shad pattern works. I'm not too picky with it. Uh, so that's the first bait. Second bait, this is going to be a little bit different, this is why I'm throwing it in there, but a bait that I really like in cold water is a tube, okay? The way I like to rig my tubes, and there's a couple ways of doing it, but I tend to rig them Texas style. Uh, go with as light of a tungsten weight as you can because you want that nice slow fall. A lot of times they have a slow spiraling motion as they drop. So these are fished around cover, uh, they work very well for that. I like to Texas rig them, but one thing I recommend is a specialty hook. They make a tube hook here. And if you look closely, you can see that there is a little bend in it right here. That just keeps it seated against the tube real well, but you can Texas rig it rather than having a hook point exposed by using a jig head. So in rocky lakes like this, you don't get hung up as much. With that said, there are now some jig heads that go inside the tube that allow you to rig it weedless. Those work as well. Um, just kind of play around with it, but a tube. This is going to be a really good bait in cold water, especially with how much salt they have in it. Uh, they got a nice slow sink to it as long as you don't go crazy with that tungsten weight. Next up is a bait I keep year round, but especially in the winter time is a jig, but in particular a finesse jig. So what I've got here is just a small little, usually I go quarter or three eighths ounce, uh, and I like to trim the skirts on them, you know, hence the, the finesse style, but then change up those trailers. Right now I've got a little yum trailer on there, the water's been warmer. But what I oftentimes will do as it gets really cold is I switch over to a chunk trailer. Um, you know, the old school Uncle Josh, you know, pork rind trailers, those work great. Zoom, the, uh, the super fat chunk. Do any of those, they have a much smaller, a much slower movement to them when you, you lift them up off the bottom. Um, so chunk trailers are really good. A lot of times I'll also use a grub with a twin tail on it. Yamamoto makes a very good one. But just downsize the profile, trim your skirt, and go a little bit smaller with that jig profile. That'll definitely get you bit. I throw jigs a lot out here. And then lastly, one that I will always be throwing in. I, I see this a lot, especially on Instagram, is you know, people talk about A-rig season, and it's fun to joke about, but in all honesty, all year's A-rig season. I throw these things a ton. I throw them all year long, so don't put this down. But they have a reputation of being a really good cold water bait. I mean, they are, obviously. But this is a bait that you can cover a lot of water with. I especially prefer it on windy days, overcast days. Honestly, the nastier the weather, weather the better. But get on those windblown banks, find those areas that's getting beat up by the waves and beat up by the wind, and chunk these things as far as you can. Uh, for me, a Picasso Schoolie rig, I usually go with Zoom Swimming Flukes or I'll go with Kai Tech Easy Shiners for the baits. Um, and then one little tip for you guys is when you're rigging these things, your middle hook and especially your bottom hook. Change these out to you know, be a little bit heavier, one, to make it run true, but if you're catching your fish in deep water, you don't necessarily have to change all the jig heads. You can just change the bottom one and go with a heavier, you know, quarter, you know, all the way up to an ounce if you want, but generally I stick pretty light with these. Uh, I fish them on 25 or 30 pound tests, you know, real heavy rod. This is a Dobbin 794 SB, real good swim bait rod, perfect for it. And the last little tip is throw it on a low gear ratio. Um, it's just a lot easier to throw. You know, these things are heavy and they kind of wear you out all day long. So a five to one gear ratio reel works really good for these. 
these are the main baits I'm gonna have on the deck. Of course, I'll always have things like a Ned rig and a drop shot, some of that finesse stuff for when the bite's a little slower. But if you keep these baits on your deck and just rotate through them and fish them depending on the conditions, I guarantee you're gonna have some success this winter catching fish, and especially out here on Lake Travis. If you guys are interested in booking a trip, you know, winter's always my slow season. So December, January, and the beginning of February, I usually have a fair amount of openings, so hit me up, especially if you want one of my coaching trips where we can come out here one-on-one -on -one and really focus in on dialing in, you know, this lake, what I do, what I fish in certain conditions, and really focus on teaching you how to fish this lake on your own, and not so much just throw, showing you spots and trying to, you know, catch a mess of fish. I mean, it's always the goal, but the main goal with a coaching trip is to teach you. So check out my website, fish512.com. Always got good content on there with, you know, fishing reports, whatnot. But uh, good luck, guys, and Merry Christmas if you're watching this before, when I upload it before Christmas.